What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using everybody's favorite Toucan. We got ourselves a Toucanon team for rank regulation F. Now, Toucanon is the regional bird from the Alolan region, Generation 7? Yeah, Gen 7. Super dope Pokemon. I just love Toucans all around. So I love Toucanon. Love its design, love its typing, and love its moveset. But this one is rocking out in a trick room team today and it is actually really really strong with sheer force as its ability now sheer force is a top tier ability you see it all the time on landers especially in the meta right now and two cannon learns it so gonna be using it with him he's got rocky helmet as the item rocking out with beak blast gunk shot roost and protect love this move set because you got a big time stab damage move with beak blast you also have gunk shot that can get the stab typing with your terror type of poison then you got roost for hp recovery alongside protect Come on, man. Two Cannon is coming to play. Another Pokemon that we're showcasing for the first time on today's channel is going to be Araquanid. Now, Araquanid is actually higher up in the meta tier list because it's super strong in Trick Room, and that's exactly how we're using it today. Araquanid has Water Bubble, dope ability, as a Water and Bug type, with Clear Amulet and then Liquidation, Leech Life, Protect, and Wide Guard. So, solid Wide Guard user has a way of getting HP recovery, and it can hit hard with its Stab Liquidation. Other Pokemon on today's team is going to be Ursaluna, a top tier Pokemon within the Trick Room, and King Gambit, a good Pokemon in Trick Room, and it can deal with Intimidate Pokemon such as Incineroar. Our final two Pokemon is going to be Porygon 2 and Sinisha, a little bit of HP recovery on the Sinisha side, and both of them can set up Trick Room whenever they feel like it. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop into our first match showcasing two cannon. We're hopping into our first match, and I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, goes by the name of Solrain. His channel will be linked down in the description below. Alongside with the Pokepace, if you guys want to check out the Steam more depth, check out the two can stats, head on down there, Pokepace down in the description below. But we're going up against top tier meta, first turn priority all day long with these guys. They got Dragonite, they got Shen Pao, Raging Bull, Entei, then last two Pokemon are going to be Fluttermane and Ogre Pond. So, kind of wish we had Indeed here because Indeed would fully just stop a lot of what they got going on, but we don't. So, I'm going to have to set up Trick Room, we're going to have to get rolling. But one thing I want to check out is going to be the two cannon stats. 66 speed, it screech cries a little, a little whack. Let me hear that again. Okay, but it's shiny, so it makes up for it. Wow, yo, shiny looks dope. He's looking like the Fruit Loops bird now. <laughs> He's looking like the Fruit Loops bird. But um, I'm going to lead uh, Porygon 2. Just get off Trick Room. Really do like that. I could lead the Beak guy. The Beak guy is pretty good. Beak guy is pretty good. But something I don't like. He's going to be Shen Pao Dragon. Like, dude, it's just a problem. It's just a big time problem. It really is. It really is. King Gambit's actually not bad here. You have Sword Sands King Gambit. Do I might want to lead you. I'm gonna end up leading King Gambit. I'm gonna bring the two can in the back end, and last but not least, gotta bring Ursaluna. Big time moon bear. Gotta love it in trick room. So we're gonna look we're gonna look to get after here in match number one. But this first turn priority team is just such a problem, especially if you do not have any ways of countering it. And it kind of seems like we don't really have a staple way of countering it. Like we don't have the terrain. Like psychic terrain is the counter to this. And we don't have it. We don't have it. So we're gonna have to try to get after it. He ends up going Fluttermane and Dragonite, which I don't mind. I kind of mind. And I don't mind at the same time, right? It's weird. It's weird because I can dump onto this, this Fluttermane if I did have a Steel move. I don't have a Steel move. But Dragonite's probably rocking Stomping Tantrum, which is where things get a little weird. So I'm going to pop Trick Room here. I might just protect you, or I can go into a straight Dark type, which wouldn't be bad. And just look to rip a Kowtow Cleave. He might just swap Fluttermane. He might just swap Fluttermane, but who would he go into? Who would you go into? That's my problem. If I go Dark type, who would you go into? Entei. It seems like Entei would be like your most viable option. So you know what? I'm gonna say screw it. I'm gonna Terrasilize, and I'm gonna hit this Fluttermane as hard as I can with Kowtow Cleave. I doubt it's going for a Fairy move, right? I doubt you're going for a Fairy move. But he's going to Terrasilize right here, Dragonite. Coming in hot here. Going to go normal. Going to go straight normal. So I'm hoping they're not doubling down into my P2. I'm hoping my P2 can actually soak up these shots, right? But I'm going to Terrasilize as well. Just in case the Stompy catch him. Let's apply through here on the King Gambit side. But they could be doubling down into my P2. That will be a little bit of a problem for me. Would definitely be a problem. But I hit the Terrasilize button. 
I go straight dark typing here. It's gonna E speed into my P2. The P2 taking some damage here. Okay, as long as you can eat up this Flutter main shot. This Moonblast with no Terra. I love you, P2. I'm in love with you. Big time soak with the Evo Light. We love you so much. We love you so much. And then Cow Tackle Leap comes across. See you later, Flutter. Awesome. Lovely. And honestly, I think they would have picked up the KO if they would have terrestrialized Flutter Meme. But I think their thought process was, okay, he's going for a steel move. We don't want to terrestrialize it and then just die out. But they died out anyway. But Shen Pao comes across here. I am scared of the Sacred Sword. I am definitely scared of the Sacred Sword. But from here, I could just try to get off some damage with P2. And then get after it, right? Or if I die, I die. I think I'd rather Thunderbolt and take off the Focus Ash here. And then just protect the King Gambit here. So I'm just going to protect the Gambo. If they take out P2, they take out P2. It's not that big of a deal. And yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. So they're going to go for E-Speed. And then they're just going to look to go for Sacred Sword into the Gambit slot. Okay, that's not that big of a deal. Um, from here, I could just go into Moon Bear. Or I could go into Two Cannon. Huh. What I'd rather have here. I kind of like Two Cannon. He's just a good time. He's just a good time. But Moon Bear. Moon Bear is a solid play here. Especially if we double down into Shen Pao here. Yeah, I'm going to double down to Shen Pao. I think we have to double down to Shen Pao. He's choice in the East speed. Um, yeah, I'm going to go into Ursulina here. I am going to go into Ursulina. I bring out Ursulina. We have, I think, three turns left in Trick Room? Three. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. And from here, I really want to double down into, into Shen Pao. But I don't know if it's going to protect. Has a chance of protecting, so I might just go for Hyper Voice instead. And then just go Sucker Punch and look to just deal as much damage as I can to Shen Pao with this. I mean, Sucker Punch wouldn't matter. We might as well just go into a Cow Tap Gleave, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Because we have speed, so why would I go for a Sucker Punch? Why would I go for a Sucker Punch? So Extreme Speed going to fly here into the Gambit slot? Yes, into the Gambit slot. And Gambit soaks, which is good. Hyper Voice is now going to fly. Do some nice damage on the Shen Pao. And Cal Tackle should be able to finish it off. I kind of wish I went up to Dragon Eye at this point. But he's probably going for a Ice Spinner into Ursaluna. So that could have been scary. So now my main target is going to be taking out this Dragon Eye, right? I think that's definitely my play is to take out this Dragon Eye. Raging Bolt scary with Thunderclap. He is scary. He could protect here too. But I think my main focus is just going to be to take out this Dragon Eye. So I'm going to just double down into Dragonite here and try to get rid of it. Yep, Raging Bolt protects anyway. Cool. I was thinking it had a hot shot at protecting here. But that should pretty much wrap up this game. He's going to go for E-Speed. He's going to take out my King Gambit. Oh no, you're not. Never mind. You don't take out my King Gambit. That was stupid. So I guess we're not seeing any 2 can in here in match number one. Because my thought process was you E-Speed, you take out my King Gambit. I Blood Moon, I take out your Dragonite. I bring out 2 cannon, and we wrap up this match no problem. But, in this case, he protected the Rage Bolt and decided to go after my Ursuline and maybe trying to read a protect for me. But there was no point of me protecting, considering I had Trick him up and we were thriving. And, yeah, now we're sitting in a perfect position where they don't have Terra. We can really start ripping. We have one turn left in Trick him. And that's going to be game. Battle was canceled. Trick him squad taking down first turn priority squad. Match number two coming at you guys, and first turn priority isn't going far. We're going up against another Shen Pao Dragonite team, but this time with a little less first turn priority. They don't have Entei or Raging Bolt like we faced in the last match, but they are still rocking out with Fluttermane, which we dumped on in turn one with Kowtow Cleave, or turn two, I should say. Yeah, because I, uh, I just protect it, and then... Or did I protect? No, I just Kowtow Cleave and set up the Trick Room, so it worked out perfectly. But uh, they also have Iron Hands, they got Amoongus and Ogre Pond. All Pokemon that are threats are pretty meta here. But we're definitely going to have to set up Trick Room. And P2 is screaming at me, right? Or actually, Sinisha might be a little bit better. Right, Sinisha over P2? Yeah, because then you dodge first turn priority moves. Ice Spinner's a little scary. Do you have a Terror type to kind of dodge that? You have Water. Okay, yeah, I actually like Sinisha here for the lead. Because then I can Rage Powder across the board and really get after. So I'm going to go Sinisha. I am going to lead... I think King Gambit here. King Gambit is just such a solid lead. Really do like it all around. And then we're going to bring Araquanid and the bird, Fruit Loops guy. Lovely. 
Loving it, loving it. So we got a Raquinid. We got two cannon in this battle. Love these Pokemon so much. I used a Raquinid in uh, Sword and Shield. I haven't used it in Scarlet Battle yet. This will be a first. And I think it was two cannon in Sword and Shield. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I would have remembered it. But this is my first time using two cannon in Scarlet and Violet. Now, Raquinid, I know it's very strong. Two cannon, going to be awesome with Cheetah Force. But they end up leading Shen Pao alongside with Irony. So from here, I'm going to have to terrestrialize my Sinistra. It's an absolute must. Um, I'm cool with it just so we can set up the Trick Room, no problem. So I'm just going to go Water Terror. I'm going to set up Trick Room. And from here, I do not like this. I do not like this. Will I just swap? I, oh, this is ugly. This is real ugly. I might just go into the two cannon with the beak, baby. I might save the... I got to swap. Oh, that's so ugly. Oh my lord! Yeah, get, get Gambit, get back here. We could have just protected it this turn, but I feel like there's a hot shot thing. Might double down, or they would go for a Drain Punch into King Gambit slot and go for Ice Spinner into Sinisha. So I get out the shiny Fruit Loop Spur. Something we love. Something we absolutely love. So I get out the bird. The birdie bird. Bird's here to play. Beak Blast Bird. Here to play. I have to use my tarot on this thing, and that is exactly why. That is 100% why we did that. So I am doing that, and there's the drain pump. So good swap for us. And why are you doing so much damage to my bird? Oh, he is part normal type. He is part normal type. God dang it, bird. Okay, so Sucker Punch is looking real scary. But in this case, I am just going to Rage Powder here. And I could Roost. I could Roost, but I kind of want to go for a Beak Blast. I kind of want to go for the for a beak blast. Hmm. Kind of want to go for a beak blast. Yeah, we're going for a beak blast. We're going to beak blast up. So I heat up my beak. Heating up the beak. Beak blast. Love this move so much. So I heat up the beak. He goes for a sucker punch. Oh, we dodge it. That's lovely. What are you going for here? Wild Charge. Wild Charge comes out here. Sinisha dies out here. So I heated up the beak this turn. Sinisha dies out here. We dodge a Sucker Punch, which is great. And we might want to Roost next turn. Roost could be good. It could definitely be good. Here comes the Beak Blast. Coming out. Bang. Big time damage onto Iron Hands. So we love that. So from here, um, I think a Raccoonade is going to be our play. I think a Raccoonade is actually really slow. Yeah, 42. You are super slow. And I might try to roost up here. Honestly, I might try to roost. The reason I say that is because I believe he's going for Sucker Punch, right? We have three turns left in Trick Room. I can Liquidation you for the KO. And I can roost dodge Sucker Punch. Something I like to do. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. And then I can Leech Life this Shen Pao next turn. So if... I make this read here, we are sitting in a solid position. We'll get Roost HP. We should be able to KO this Iron Hands with Liquidation. We should outspeed it too with 42 speed. Slow Spider. Yep, there's a Sucker Punch. Got that. Got that done. Now all we need is Liquidation KO. Come on, man. What a turn. What a turn. Big time plays. Big time reads from us. Dodging a Sucker Punch and on top of that, getting back HP. Getting back HP. What a call. What a call. So the two cannon back up with enough HP where it should be able to eat up a sucker punch now. 161. Love it. I could heat up the beak again if I want to. But I think now first turn priority is looking real scary. It's looking real scary. It's looking real scary. So I'm going to go for a leech life here. And this is where I heat up the beak. Because if I heat up the beak. Um, if I heat up the beak and he e speeds my two cannon, it could be good. It could be good. So I'm going to double down into Shen Pao here. Actually, am I going to double down into Shen Pao? I could. I could. Who do I have in the back end? I have Gambit. Gambit's not bad. Gambit's not bad. I think we double down into Shen Pao here. And we heat up the beak. He's going to end up Terrasa. So he wants to go probably normal terror type. And he wants to just uh, rip up these speeds. Which is totally fine. Hopefully he's going after 2 can after I heat up the beak. And we can burn it. And we can just burn it. That'd be a big time burn for us. That'd be a big time burn for us. So I heat up the beak. The 
beaks a blast. And he speeds flying. He going after. Go after two cannon. No. Oh my lord, that leaves me on one. Leech life comes out here. Big time leech life. We get back some HP. And he didn't go for sucker punch, which is huge. Because now I should be able just to KO the Shen Pao. No, and actually beak blast goes last. That's something I did not know. If I would have known that, I would have just went for gunk shot. And I was really hoping the Dragonite would just e-speed the 2k. That's something I was really hoping there. But now I got King Gambit here. Um, E-speed KOs the rack lane, which is kind of annoying. And now we're sitting in a tough spot because I should have KO'd the Shen Pao there. But I would have known more about Beak Blast. So I would have just gunk shot. If I would have known that it goes last, I would have just, I would just hit that thing. But from here, Araquanid is going to have to protect for us. Um, King Gambit, did we just Kowtow Cleave this slot? Yes. And then try to Sucker Punch it next turn. Yeah, I'm with it. I'm with it. So I'm going to protect the Araquanid. I am scared of the Sacred Sword, but this is one of our only shots we have. We're hoping he's going to protect Shen Pao. Yes. He protects Shen Pao. Cool. I could have Sword Stance here, too. But there's the E speed in this slot. Um, huh. What's the play here now? What's the play here? Because does Trick Room end? That's the real question. Can I be fine? Can you just get a crit and KO this thing? Oh, it doesn't even do that much damage. Oh, man. I thought it was going to do more. I thought it was going to do more than that. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I'm going to go for another Protect here. And I'm just going to try to suck a punch and finish off Shen Pao. I think that's my only option because he's definitely E speeding into a Rack Wind. And he might just be going for like a Sacred Sword into King Gambit. So if we could take out Shen Pao and get rid of that Swords of Ruin damage, that'd be big. And we do land double protect. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. So we're trying to make something happen here. E speed's gonna come out from Dragonite. We block it. Sucker punch. Fingers crossed. Right? Yep, beautiful. Oh no, you're going for sucker punch! You're going for sucker punch! <laughs> come on, man. That's a good play on their end. You're going for sucker punch. Yeah, that kind of just that's just screwed me over there. That you went for Sucker Punch. That's crazy. I would have thought you would have went for like Sacred Sword or something. So yeah, that is not going to work out in our favor. So we're definitely going to lose this matchup here. But I still want to KO the Shen Pao. So I'm just going to go straight after the Shen Pao. I still want to KO the Shen Pao. I still want to KO Shen Pao. So I'm going to look to KO Shen Pao. He's choosing the E speed now. And as he goes for Sacred Sword now, he does. What is going on here? This dude's just playing with my mind at this point. Goes for Sacred Sword at this turn. I seriously thought they were going for it last turn, but solid plays on our opponent. Not a bad matchup. Let's go hop to a third. Look for a 2-1 winning record. Final match for today's video coming at you guys. We're going up against a Scissor Squad. I love Scissor. Super dope Pokemon. Was actually going to showcase it in today's video, but chose the Toucan over. They also got Fluttermane. They got Rage Bolt. They got Landorus in its form. And then uh, Chiyu and Urshifu. Um, definitely got to set up Trick Room. Now, who would be better here to set up Trick Room? Sinisha? Not bad. Or P2? Probably P2 here, right? I mean, I am scared of the Urshifu going for, like, close combat, but I do have an Insult like Ghost Paratype. So that kind of covers that. So, yeah. P2. And sound. We're going into P2. So I'm going to lead P2. On top of this, um, who do I lead? Could lead the Beaky Pokemon. Could also lead you. And I kind of want to lead one of these guys and just, like, protect here, right? Makes the most sense. Let's go into Urshifu. We just don't like Urshifu. We just don't. And you know what? I'm going to go into Arachnid. I'm going to bring two cannon. And last but not least, I am going to go into Ursula. Just a bunch of Pokemon I really, really like. They're really strong in the trick room. So we're just going to get trying to pop it off here. Get going from there. We're just hoping they're not doubling down into P2. I think we should be fine regardless if they do double down or if they don't. Especially if we have the option to Terra. Which we might do if Urshifu's on the field. I would rather just do that. So we'll see. We'll see. Well, we got the Arachnid out here for the lead. I could just go for a Leech Life. That's not a bad play, especially because it'll probably take some HP. Then we can also get some back. But they end up going into Chiyu and Urshifu, which is fine. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to Terrasalize into Ghost here. I do download for a beautiful special attack boost. And yeah, I'm going to go into a Terrasalize Trick Room and Arachnid. I think I'm just going to Liquidation here instead of Protect, right? I think we have to pose this threat onto this, onto this Chi. Just get off some damage here. I like it. I definitely do like it. 
Yeah, I'm cool with this. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna thrash slice in the ghost. I know ghost is a little weird because because they do have a dark type Pokemon on the field, but if I can just get off Trick Room, that's my whole hope, right? I don't mind if P2 dies out. I just need to get off Trick Room. P2's main purpose here is Trick Room. If I don't get off Trick Room, I pretty much lose the match. So we're going to Terrasalize, hoping he's going for a close combat, and that's exactly what he does. Big time Terror from P2. Let's see what they do from here. They're going to double down with Dark Pulse. You should soak this Dark Pulse. Okay, cool. No flinches allowed either. Liquidation flies, good thing we didn't protect. And we bring you down the focus hash. Yeah, you sash up. So as long as Dark Pulse don't get the flinch. Cool. We set up the trick. It's a big time terror for us. Big time terror. Works out perfectly. So now he's sitting here. He could go for an Aqua Jet. Definitely most likely. I think I'm just going to do that. And on top of that, we just get rid of the Chiyu. Because who could they go in here to dodge the Chiyu or to dodge that shot? Maybe Raging Bolt, if you have Raging Bolt. I think we definitely go for Thunderbolt here, and then we just go for a Leech Life. We're going to go for a Leech Life, just in case he swaps in something that can eat it up. And he's going to end up swapping you. He ends up swapping you into who? He's going to save the Urshifu. You're going to go into Raging Bolt here. Leech Life comes out here, and I'm just going to get a Thunderbolt off here. The Thunderbolt's going to fly. It's going to do minimal damage. And he's probably going to Thunderclap next turn. Just to get rid of my P2. So Thunderbolt not doing anything crazy. Um, <clears throat> he could Thunderclap to Arachnid too. I definitely want to try to Ice Beam this Raging Bolt. Being plus one on special attack. But now comes or back out the Urshifu. And I'm just going to stick with this Ice Beam here. So I'm going to go Ice Beam. And I'm just going to look to go for probably like a Leech Life. I might double down on this thing. Yeah, I'm going to double down into Raging Bolt. We're gonna see a Terra come out here. Is that Raging Bolt? Would Raging Bolt get the Terra? No, it's gonna be Urshifu. Urshifu's gonna Terrasalize into straight poison. Straight poison type, which is gonna work well for my Ursaluna. Ursaluna with ground type typing. We love that. Leech Life gonna fly here, do a little bit of damage. We love it. No Thunderclap, which is awesome. And Ice Beam's gonna also be able to fly and almost KO. A 1 HP bandit? This dude bandits up. He bandits up. Hurts the soul, and certain strikes gonna finish me off here. So now we can go into a thunderclap. Um, we gotta bring out. Do we gotta bring out Ursa Luna? I feel like we have to bring out maybe actually two cannon here. That hurts right there. That really hurts. That really hurts. I'm gonna bring out two cannon here. One HP. One HP bandit coming here. So I'm gonna bring out the two cannon here. Thunderclap is looking scary, but I wonder who they're going to Thunderclap, though. I'm going to go for a Beak Blast here. Actually, no, I'm not. I should go for a Gunk Shot. Thunderclap is... Oh, man. Who do I think they Thunderclap? Probably Araquanid, right? I would think Araquanid. Screw it. I'm going for a Beak Blast. I'm going to protect the Rackwind. I'm going to protect the Rackwind. So I'm going to Beak Blast up. Show me the Thunderclap into the Rackwind. No! No, man! No! They're just reading my 2 cannon all day today. We don't really get to use 2 cannon too all today. Really sucks. Really sucks they Thunderclap them. They went opposite on me and just did me dirty. So we're going one and two for today's video. Unless Ursula can clutch up. Which is definitely possible. I mean, actually. Now that Terrasalize in the poison, we have a hot shot to win this. I mean, he can't hit me. He can't really do anything, Raging Bolt. Maybe a dragon move, but I'm just gonna Earth Power this this slot. I'm just gonna Earth Power this slot. You could detect this turn. But you end up protecting the Raging Bolt. That's odd. That's an odd move. Unless it's double protect. It's not. So Earth Power flying. Hold up. Wait a minute. We got a chance. <laughs> we got a chance, yo. Ursaluna coming in hot here. But I'm so upset we didn't really get to use two cannon too much. It's just tough using it. 
it's tough, but still love this team. Still love this team. Twisted Dimension is return to normal. Hyper Voice can finish off that Raging Bolt. Now, let's see who their final Pokemon is. Let me Scizor. Now, Scizor? Hmm. What do I feel about Scizor? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Earth Power can still do some nice damage, but my Sword Stance up here. Dragon Pulse gonna fly here. That's doing a nice chunk of damage. Yeah, I don't like this. Bug Bite. You got Bug Bite? And... Yeah, this one's over, right? Yeah, Bug Bite's finishing me off. Bug Bite. Lovely little Bug Bite. So, yeah, that's gonna be game here. Match number two. Or not, match, match number three, actually. Not going in our favor. And we're gonna grab ourselves a losing record. You had close combat this whole time. Why didn't you just close combat me last turn? Come on, man. I guess they didn't want to lower the defense. But there it is. One and two for today's video. Not too bad. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, showcasing a two cannon and a rack winning team in rank regulation. Now, didn't do too bad with it today. Kind of tried to force two cannon a little bit, which might have cost us a game, but we went one and two, grabbed ourselves a losing record. But still, I feel like this team has a lot of potential with it. Two cannon, not too bad with Sheer Force, Beak Blast, Gunk Shot, and Roost. Love it so much. We got to actually use Roost really well in match number two, I believe. And then Arachnid, really, really solid in Shurikin, picking up chaos with Liquidation, doing some big-time damage with Leech Slipe, and Wide Guard can definitely come in clutch when you're going up with Pokemon with uh, double, double hitting moves. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.